Hi. Hello, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> Reggie, catch, your, catch your breath. Reggie's still alive. <laughs> your boy is still alive. Uh, so, hey, guys. Yeah, sorry. We had to start a little late. I had a family function, and uh, I'm back from that. And then beyond that, um, <laughs> hey, helping old people. Helping the ger- geriatrics. Helping the elderly. Legitimately a good reason oh my God. to be somewhat delayed. You know, that's good. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I got here a little late today. It was scary. Helping but... helping old people, good. Uh-huh. Getting in strange cars, bad. Horrible. Don't do it. I don't recommend it. Don't do it. I don't recommend Why it. Why would you do it? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Why would you oh do it? Oh, my God. I... Help old people when they need help. Don't get in strange cars. Yeah. So unless so, there's there's an Uber attached to it, perhaps. Oh, I wish there was. Man. So, long story short, I got out of my place and I'm walking to go to the metro and some guy in a car attracts my attention. So I'm like, okay, your butt out? I'm like, yes. And he's like, Oh, do you know where this street is? I'm like, I, I'm not sure, but do you have the address? I could look on my phone and show you. Uh, yeah, this is the address. So I enter the, the address to Google Maps and I show him on the map and this old man is confused. Confused like, why are you behind the wheel right now? So, mm-hmm. so I'm like, okay, well, you have to do a U-turn and then go here. And he's like, oh, just get in the car. And I'm like, excuse me? And it's like, just get in, get in the car and, and show me where to go because I don't know how to get there. So immediately in my head, I'm like, don't get in strangers cars. (laughs) That's, that's horrible. You're a grown ass man. Yeah, but still, you don't know. I've seen Get Out. I've seen all these, these crazy movies. No, it just. So he's like, please just get in the car and show me where to go. And I'm like, I'm already, I'm I'm kind of late. I have to go. Like, look, you just have to turn. And he's like, oh, please. So I have to make a judgment call. Do I just leave the old man to be lost? on the street or do I, I i get in and die and because he was very insistent and like not accepting the the no i was like you know what mm, fuck it we social ball pressure okay i got was in the it, car was it was he insistent in a polite way or in a aggressive way it was not aggressive it was like distress okay like i need to get there please help me okay okay yeah. And, and, so, and, and the and the step by step was just not it was just it was I, not I can't enough. register yeah. the things you're I saying. Like I, I gave him my phone and he was like, Oh I don't know how this works. Uh, so I'm like, okay, no, you have to turn on this street and go here and here. And it's like, oh uh, I'm not sure. Can you just like come with me and like tell me where to go? And I'm like, all right, if I died, this is how it happens. Okay. So I got in the car, and I'm like, do this, turn here, drop me over there, and you go this way. And he was like, oh! <laughs> I'm like, okay, you have a the piece of paper there. The threat is not that he's going to do anything to you. The threat is that he's going to drive into oncoming traffic. <laughs> you know? And you're going to get T-boned, and then and that's going to that's that. that's gonna be on me. I'm going to see it in the newspaper. So, yeah. so I'm like, okay, look, I have to go to this subway. Just go in the parking lot. Give me that piece of paper. Do you have a pen on you? He's like, uh, yeah, I have one in my pocket. Because all old people have pens on of them course. for some reason. They got, they got so a pen. Like, all right. So he yeah. passes me the pen. And I draw a map for him. Mm-hmm. And I write the streets, yeah. the street names on every line on the map. Yeah. And then he looks at the map. And he's like, oh, uh, where are we again? I'm like, you're here, dude. You're here. And then you go this way. Right, 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 left. And you're there. He's like, Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I have to go. And then he thanked me, but I barely listened to it because I had to go. And yeah, I didn't die. I yeah. didn't want to. No. There's uh, there's a level where politeness crosses into, like, uh, there, like yeah. something else is happening that is beyond you, yeah. you know? This person should probably not be driving on their own yeah. with the, in this situation. But, but also, right? like, some old people, they don't use technology and if they're yeah. lost, they're lost. No, no, no. If they don't know, but that, I guess that's the thing is like, okay, if I don't know how to use any maps on a phone or at all, mm-hmm. I'm just an analog person. All right. So once your analog steps don't work either. <laughs> it's like, oh, man. Well, how did we get here? <laughs> like, okay, fuck the phone and Google Maps. If I was just to give you a list 
of, uh -huh, of steps. directions yeah. make a left make a right and then yeah. go you know what i mean so so my, the, the... my thought process was like if i give him the directions and he gets lost and he doesn't even know how to get back and he's double lost like uh, that's my my thing is like yeah. if it's the technology you that's one excuse that you can you can go all right he doesn't know the tech but if it's just like the concept of direction at all <laughs> then it's like this is you probably shouldn't be driving man you know yeah, it was scary if he was younger i think i would have said no yeah but because he was old and yeah kind of in trouble i was like i'll take the chance and that's that's but also i a, don't want to do this every day not to mention, that's that's also a like call do you have anybody that you know you know what i mean that's a get someone that you know on the phone yeah to I, like yeah i should have asked him because like that's just that's a weird scenario but yeah yeah so all right I, I, fair I, enough i helped fair enough. someone and you, it was scary that's to, to the stretch stretch the politeness to the maximum of the way it's you know what what you should do i suppose and yeah i i fair yeah. enough yeah yeah fair yeah. Enough. yeah he was like 70 ish maybe mm -hmm. you know the other move which i don't know how depending on what kind of phone it is if you turn the directions on and they talk to you and then it talks to mm -hmm. you and says take the next left yeah. at this street mm -hmm. you know it's it's yelling at you what to do so that's another step of like hey follow these instructions and in case you go wrong this is but you know that might but that might even fluster even more you yeah. know so um it sounds like it sounds like what you're dealing with if, if the basic steps aren't working is like well that's you're hitting on dementia right and that's where you're kind of like it's it, yeah, again, it's less about the tech and it's more about like day to day things are a struggle and this person possibly shouldn't even be in this car yeah. if they're, you know, how old would you have pegged him at? How old? Yeah. Yeah, around 70 ish. Maybe. 70 ish. OK, not like 80s, not 80s. Like he he seemed like he should have had like most of his wits. OK, but the way he was like reacting to the information i was telling him okay it was like oh if someone was seemed in their like mid 80s and they were like that and they were behind the wheel of a car i might like do a 911 check or some just it's hard to say but it's like did you just kind of get in the car when you weren't supposed to you know what i mean are you in the middle of doing something you're not supposed to be doing right now and you're asking for help but like the fact that you got this far means someone is currently wondering where you are <laughs> do you know what i mean like you you never quite know there could be a straight up like oh shit you you're not supposed to be in this car driving here so that's why you're so confused because yeah. the first step was the problem you know mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know yeah. all right well <laughs> godspeed dude it was so scary man like yeah when he told me get in the car yeah yeah i was like all right no, but are you going to survive if I leave? Did the car smell like old? <laughs> ah, no. no, not that particularly. Not particularly. It was okay. a very clean car. All right. Holy moly, man. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm here. Fair I'm enough. still alive. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do not do what I did. If it didn't smell of old, that all the more that he probably doesn't yeah. use it often. All the more that yeah. he probably... I didn't even look in the back seat if there was someone with a rope or something. <laughs> oh, I'm so terrible at Yo, this, man. Little good fellas. Yo. <laughs> oh boy. All of a sudden, the old I don't know. It just turns into a normal face. <laughs> you know, tucks the hair back. <laughs> no, man. No. Oh man. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, here we are. Here we are. How you doing, everybody? Uh, we did, we're slopping today. We are back to it. Want to want to touch base on this every every opportunity, every now and then that we can. Feels feels fleeting. Feels like it's been difficult to keep up. And I suppose, uh, why not pre-slop with a little detour to uh, to see what's going on with a friend of ours. <laughs> oh, 
What are you gonna do, man? <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Hey, he aimed at the bed. He aimed at the bed. That was a safe throw. Uh, uh, yeah, you did that. <laughs> Stomp. Toss. Bed sheets ruffled. Control toss. You know what, Jimmy? I bet you, once upon a time, that toss was in any direction. I bet you that we've gotten to a place. You leveled it up, huh? Where we've tossed it into a place that it doesn't cost money. Good job. Oh my god. This was like his 30th death at this point, and he finally got over that pipe to the flag. Ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> always, always a pleasure to see what, what Jimmy's up to. All right, when we last left off, Team Red was one point ahead. All right, wearing black face paint, huh? Wearing black face paint, huh? <laughs> is this for real? <laughs> is this no! for real? Snake eater. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. Nothing else to say. Rock on. Infrared flares are ready. Yo! No way! <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. I thought he was gonna snipe from the fucking... Fr from midair. That's what he did. Wait, did he take the shot? He shot the dude, he killed him, wait. and he took his plane. Wait, 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 no, <laughs> no, 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 no. He Hold did. on, hold dude. on, hold on, oh, back it up, back it up, back it up, yeah. Slow motion, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the blood even spurted out of <laughs> Headshot. Holy shit. <laughs> What? <laughs> now that's the kind of nonsense I approve. Oh my god. <laughs> that's incredible. I mean, that's like, th there's pl those are Titanfall plays where you're in mid-air, both ejecting, doing shit like that. That, I'm, <laughs> that are just, like mid-air grapples and shit that I think are the coolest. Wow. Baltimore's funniest, Larry Travers. But anyway, I don't like you talking about nothing. But, but I'm not worrying about that. What the fuck you doing? But anyway, you we bitch? back out here. I came out here to let you know, even though you pulled a knife out, of, I came out here to let you know. You feel me? I apologize for you looking ugly. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I came out here. Now, if you stab me, I got insurance. Make sure I don't go to Harbor Hospital. Make sure I go to John Hopkins. I like Cherry Hill niggas. That's why I came out here. Because I stab Hold up. I know. It's nice. That's how sharp it is. That's how sharp yeah, it is. Sharp it that is. motherfucker nice. Now, remind you, not only did you take your commissary from Jessup, you took that knife from Jessup, too. <laughs> yes, you did. You was in the penitentiary with me, and then we moved on in, and I yeah. went on him. Come on now. Was no end. Bet you was quiet when they jumped yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. But you was one of the bloods. <laughs> Jesus you Christ. You was one of the bloods. Blood, I'm black. Yeah, but I'm saying you was one of the bloods and then you became Muslim because they whipped your ass. <laughs> I run shop. Yeah, I understand you run shop just like you running your mouth. But what I'm saying to you is you my nigga. Right? I love you. You my nigga. I love you. Oh, give me some smack. You love nah, me. I don't do all that. I don't you sell drugs. Pills, bitch. I don't sell drugs. Pills, I don't eat pills, but you eat your teeth. You still yeah. looking like a billy goat. Yeah. But you <laughs> Early in the morning, we out your hair. Well, don't put your hands on me. You feel me? But don't put no weapons out on me ever again. Because if you do that, then it might be it might be repercussions. You feel me? No, but I'm talking about me and you. We family. I love you. You understand what I'm saying? And you still look like a bottle of alcohol. Early in the morning, we out your hair. And I love you. Yeah. Because I love you. You feel me? And we all world star. We're going to make world star. We're going to make it, because I already made it. You just got to make it. Looking like <laughs> Darth Vader. <laughs> bitch, you look just like Darth Vader, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you look just like Darth Vader with that hoodie on. <laughs> Let the force be with you. What's <laughs> <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> Man, I ain't trying to hear all that shit. Get Yo, your ass in the trunk. What's wrong with you? I ain't trying to hear all that shit. Oh, my God, dude. 
back of that car. Looking like a motherfucking German boy does. You better go in, nigga. Knowing you eat bean pies, talking about you ain't a pork chop man. You a meatloaf man. Fuck wrong with him. Jesus, yo. You got it. I mean, in the face of certain danger and death, when your rhetoric continues, when you're going, when the roast can't be stopped, when the roast cannot be stopped, I can be bleeding out, and the, you will not, man. <laughs> That is dangerous. I'm sweating. Yo, he was flashing metal. I'm sweating. <laughs> that is insane. He was flashing metal. Still listening. Just and and like I'm clowning on you from a place of like I'm I'm disarming. I'm disarming while I clown. <laughs> but and there's a level of like any minute now. It's right there. It's right there. And he's like <laughs> Oh uh, shit! Yeah, Still okay. That cup mm -hmm, mm -hmm. didn't spill. Didn't spill a drop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Them I, like once he explains the context, or like like on the commissary, like they're on the same cell block or whatever. Like, okay, yeah, this has happened more mm -hmm. than once. <laughs> this is this is chapter seven of the story. You yeah, know? yo, give me some smack, dog. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Looking like Darth Vader. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Statue of Liberty Cannon? By detaching their Manhattan combat area to stage an attack. But why are they doing that? What's that light over there? That thing's Neo America's ultimate weapon. <laughs> the Statue of Liberty Cannon. Yeah, it is. Energy at full power. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> America, fuck yeah! We got the guns to save the motherfucking day. Oh, did you America. seriously think such puny power could break through our barrier? What a joke! Damn! No liberty, freedom. Fuck freedom. My own home nation. <laughs> <laughs> Convert it to a space weapon. Reggie, are you aware of uh, the various uh, international Gundams of the of, of the G Gundam you, world? You've shown me a few <laughs> okay. wonderful models. I've shown, I've done, we've done this. We've done this bit. <laughs> you've shown me a nice, a few uh, very... Um, we've, we've, yeah. <laughs> tequila Gundam. <laughs> Mandela. Right? <laughs> South Africa. Windmills. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. All right. We, we did it. This. Okay. All right. Cool. As long as we did it. Naruto in a nutshell. Why did you even rope Classic. me into Because he roped me into this. Well, the him over there, he roped me into this. <laughs> well, he roped me into this. What about me? He, he roped me into this. Well, that one over there roped me into <laughs> What? Okay, okay. We watched we watched this at the end of the playthrough. What was this again before the, the Moon Black Zetsu? What was this before Moon Kaguya the evil No wait, the moon thing is never mind. That was that was Boruto. What was this? Oh, she's still moon people. Though. She's moon people, yeah. but what was this? That what? was the black Zetsu. Which was what? That was the white Zetsu and the black Zetsu and to, to the evil honest. entity that she made that then made Madara evil? I, I forget. Like, this step is completely Dude, gone. I deleted so much Naruto from my brain. Her third son. Okay, all right. It's Kaguya's son. Yeah, th I don't even remember this step at all. All right. Uh, Mr. Incredible finds out the truth behind Spinosaurus. Paleo Entertainment.
Wait, what? No! No way! What happened? <laughs> Wait. What happened to the Spinosaurus? Is this what? real? What? Oh my god, dinosaur discoveries are ruining everything. They're I've ruining of, everything, dude. I've been out of the Saurus game. Dinosaurs are now bird... Well, they've always been bird-like, but uh -huh. now they're feathered, and they, they, they squawk like chickens. Okay. And, and, and we're just everything you knew and love about the big, cool lizard... Like Jurassic every once Park. in a while, somebody tells me this dinosaur never existed, but I haven't kept up. Oh my god! Deleting, deleting all the toys that you had from existence. <laughs> Is a Spinosaurus bigger than a Gigantosaurus? <laughs> Can't keep up with the Dino patch notes. <laughs> Largest land predator, bigger than both the T Rex and the Gigantosaurus. Yeah. 60 feet long. Sail on its back was seven feet tall. And yeah, it was longer than the T-Rex and it lived like 30 million years beforehand. Yeah, yeah, fuck that. No, no, no. Okay, we good. We good, we good, we good. <laughs> We're safe. Oh my God. All right. Topper daily. So far, I'm actually in agreement that it's not about race. I mean, it's, it's in a specific way. Yeah. It's, it's way too general to be specifically about race. I think there are probably elements in it that yeah. can be definitely read as being about race. Pause. Stop. Volume. <laughs> Hold the fuck. Hold the fuck on. This is really quiet. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, who are these people? What is happening? Cat too cool? Uh, 21 month reset. So this oh is boy, a real person really we're talking about? A game that definitely isn't trying to be about race and has lots of thoughtful and interesting things to say about the subject matter. So far, I'm actually in agreement that it's not about race. I mean, it gets... In a specific <laughs> way. Yeah. It's, it's way too general to specifically about race i think there are probably elements in it that yeah. can be definitely read as being about race but like it's it's not about anything right it's now. well right now it's about like did a you class know difference. detroit was on mm -hmm. the underground <laughs> okay we just had to do a sturdy <laughs> Instant karma. Yo. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah. All right. I, I, that, that, was, that, was, that was unsettling. Okay, because I was preparing the mental catalog of like, all right, Reggie. Uh, here's look, the look, 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 look. I know from this game, from what you told me, and all the references, and the MLK, and the robots, and the obviousness of like David Cage being not subtle about shit. So when this started, robots at the back of I the was bus. like, oh no, oh, oh no, robots literally at the back of the bus, underground railroad to Canada, <laughs> literal fist spray paint. I have a like wild. Oh okay. yeah. We don't have enough context oh, as to where God. and when in the playthrough they were, but yeah, that was instant. The card. title screen fucking exact that's exactly what's happening when the title screen is when you leave <sighs> Boy, media literacy, how we doing on a David Cage game! Where the fucking word like like media literacy on a pop-up book with the cardboard pages where they're this thick! 
And every time you turn the page, like, a fucking burning cross sticks up. And then you turn the page, and then some clan hoods stick up. And you're like, wow! Oh, <laughs> look at that! And you can even, like, pull... And you can pull it! <laughs> make it swing. Yeah! Incredible. God bless the fucking timing on that. At least they caught, like, we, yeah. Much love, Kat. All right. <laughs> All right. In the Islamic faith, there's the Quran. It's the Islamic sacred book, just like Christians have themselves the Bible and Judaism has the Torah. The Quran is believed to be the word of God as dictated to the prophet Muhammad. And it took, get this, 23 years for the entire book to be revealed to Muhammad. It's also Muslim belief that the first verses of the Quran were revealed to the prophet Muhammad on the 23rd night of the ninth Islamic month. So again, in the Islamic faith, the number 23 matters a lot, meaning that those 23 Three pillars in the Minecraft ocean mine. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> 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 delicious fuck what a cut oh yeah oh man that i didn't realize i was like what where are we going what are we cooking here <laughs> oh shit oh that was nourishing <laughs> you ever not know you're gonna get a yo damn first meal of the day fuck i'm good fast broken good night <laughs> good so <laughs> Wow, 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 damn. Ooh. Ooh, I got powered up. <laughs> I got jitters, bro. <laughs> That's that good shit. Oh. Boat coming. Now, tell us what you have here. Uh, well, uh, it's a gun. Um, <laughs> okay. It's a family heirloom. You know, the pro family for years. My, my the setup of the bit is already pretty good. In Russia. And you know, it looks fancy as hell, so I brought it down. Yes. Are you familiar with Chekhov's gun as a concept, yeah, as yeah, a trope? Okay. Yeah. Okay, all right. Quite fancy. Now, have you ever noticed this engraving here? It's in Russian. It spells out the name of the owner of the pistol. It <laughs> happens to be none other than Anton Chekhov. You know who that is? Does he play hockey? <laughs> He's no. a writer. He happens to be one of the giants of Russian literature. This is Chekhov's gun. Huh. I'll be damned, Chekhov's gun. The hammer here is in perfect condition. Oh wow, <laughs> this is loaded. What a treat. Most likely by Anton Chekhov himself. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you still filming? <laughs> yes, yeah. it's okay, Stephen. Now, as I was saying, this is a beautiful piece of machinery. 19th century Russian craftsmanship. I'm not sure Chekhov's gun has ever been fired. <laughs> Smell that. Got a trace of sulfur. Hmm? Oh, don't be shy. Put your nose to it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, leave that snare drum alone, okay? That belonged to Pete Best and they're appraising that. Get over here. See what daddy has. Come on. Anyway. Poor I'm Pete sorry. Best. Now, this is in excellent condition. Uh, Chekhov's gun could be fired today just as well as it could have in 1878. By Anton Chekhov. Oh, all right, okay. Give the loaded gun back to Daddy. <laughs> That's still good. Here you go. And all right. Now, my only issue with the condition of the pistol is a slight defect with the trigger. Five, two, six, <laughs> you feel it? Hmm. Oh my God! That wow! This really yeah, wow! Oh! Wind. Set it off at any moment. Oh. Okay, hey, oh, it's hey killing Sophia, me, man. please, I told you to leave the party poppers at home. <laughs> okay, you guys are going to want to hear this. This is killing me. The whole me. family should be here for this. Now, how much do you think Chekhov's gun is worth? Whew, I don't know, but, oh, God, I hope it's a lot. My conservative estimate would be $80,000. Holy cow! Champagne is <laughs> That's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Good bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never fire it. Yeah, that's the right play. <laughs> Mitchell Hammond.
All my money's on Metal Gear. That's a big puff. Yeah! Look at this Archer style animation. Isn't this very. This is so Archer. Like almost partial rotoscope, but not really. Dude, you, bit, you pulled the pin! He's still holding it. Okay. Big boss. It's 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 an animation. The heck did I just watch? I don't know, but nicely done. よろしくお願いいたします。OK、ブーマー。アメリカをブーマーということなんですが、まあ、ブーマーというのはベイビーブーマー、つまり段階世代を指す言葉であって、このオーケーブーマーというのは、はい、はい、分かった。おじいちゃんたちは黙っとけ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> This meme is already nothing but a memory. <笑> Thank you, Patrick, for explaining the memes to Japan. <laughs> you gotta look up, you know, when you do yeah, it. Like, yeah, okay, oh, yeah. Okay, in, in the Japanese brackets, okay, boomer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Hey, hey, I, I, that's a job right there. That dude can be employed for a very long time, right? What's going on over there? What are they talking about? What does this mean? <laughs> no problem. Just basically walk up and be the urban dictionary for Japan, you know. <laughs> you can explain all the new terms <laughs> from America, from the West. Yes, yes, we get it. Shut up, old man. <laughs> GG. What is that? GG. No, I'm just a whittle goblin. Oh, I'm just a small little goblin. <laughs> Alex Lay. No. I mean, you want to talk about catching the fucking football and running with it. Dude, Alex, he ran like Forrest Gump. Yo. <laughs> touch, yo, right? touch, touch, where is he going? Where Got is the gig? Going? Got some other gigs? Spotlight? He's moving. Yo, Barry Sanders, <laughs> off the block, left, right, you can't stop it. Will not stop. God bless, Alex. Good job. Keep it going. You know, when I, my brain, I didn't even read the last word. I read gob and like, I didn't even check to see if there was a W there. I, I just, I just said goblin because of the, just because of whittle. Uh -huh. Oh, <laughs> and it turns out it was goblin. You just said it. I just said it. Yeah, mate, I don't know how they've done it, but somehow KFC and their zinger boxes have cast a spell over the Australian people. Yep, for some reason, any time an Aussie catches a glimpse of this bloke's face with the red and white colour scheme, their memory is instantly wiped for the last 15 times they had KFC, and the fact that five <laughs> minutes after they finished pounding a zinger box into them, they were shitting through the eye of a needle. And no wonder, really, you know, because, I mean, your average KFC trip goes like this. After just having your memory wiped, you decide to head down to your local Kentucky Fried to begin the patented KFC ordering process, which consists of you spending 27 
seven and a half minutes at the front counter while a 13 year old who very clearly cannot work the register properly takes your order. But not to worry mate, because after only a short 45 minute wait, <laughs> you finally long. handed the goods and make your way over to one of the many permanently greased up tables covered in little bits of lettuce and mayonnaise yeah. that KFC has to offer. After picking your zinger box up off the floor, you bust open the box and discover not only are you missing half your order, but the stuff they have included consists of one of those pathetic salads in a cup and a wicked wing with a bite taken out of it. Well, at least they remembered your zinger burger and all your woes will go away once you get this thing into you. So you peel back the wrapper, go in for the first bite and surprise, surprise, Disgusting. the sultans of salmonella themselves have provided yet another piece of raw chicken. Disappointing, but expected. At this point, you reach for your can of Pepsi Max TM to wash the, the taste out of your about. mouth, but right as you grab it, it slips clean out of your hands and onto the floor. Yep, despite only being one bite into the meal, you are completely greased from the eyebrows down, mate. But not to worry, KFC has thought ahead and have included a handy little wet wipe to solve all your problems. Uh, unfortunately, it is uh, about the size of a postage stamp, but it's a thought that counts, mate. And I mean, I'm not knocking it, mate. You know, I love KFC. That's kind of the whole reason I started working here right in the first north. place. And it's fucking excellent. You know, I love it. The work's easy, and I get <laughs> pre-KFC whenever I want, people. mate. How good. Oh, 37 family boxes for the same car. Fuck. Does that happen to be a, a Tarago by any chance, mate? Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, okay. And did there happen to be someone playing guitar in the background while they ordered? Okay, ukulele. Okay, yeah, no, that is real, mate. That's not a prank. I'll be in in a sec. <laughs> Yeah, mate, easily my favourite part of the gig, though, is the drive through And I've got to say, I really think I've found my calling here, you know, because for some reason, I've just got a real knack for dealing with these people. Yes, mate, yeah, I do understand that a chicken shop running out of chicken is ironic, mate, okay? I do get that, all right? But i just got to ask you one question, mate. Do you think I'm driving the fucking truck in here every day myself or something, do you? No. So what the fuck do you want me to do about oh. it, mate? I can either do your twister with just they the letters on it. They still have them to your car delivery. Cup, or you can back That's your crazy. box out of my driveway and fuck off. But yeah, mate, unfortunately, the elephant in the room with these sorts of jobs is uh, it's definitely the pay. And uh, I knew that going in, which is why I've been on the lookout for any sort of gap in the market that I can weasel my way into, and uh, I think i found it. Yeah, mate, you would not fucking believe the demand for some of these discontinued items right. KFC has, mate. I mean, I'm selling double downs absolutely hand oh over fist God. out here, and the secret is, even though it's not on the menu anymore, you can still go in there and order double two burger fillets on their own, that slap was a real. bit of cheese and bacon on there, and bam, the double down is back. Wait, I can just do that? <laughs> Mate, I'm doing a fucking thing here. Can't you see the camera, mate? I'm just gonna go in there if you can just do that instead. Oh, eh? come on, mate. No, don't do not do that. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate. You see that? You see what you've done? You just cost me a sale, mate. You owe me $8, Nick. No, I'm not fucking joking. I'm having a crap. And turn this fucking camera off too, would you? Hey, mate. Half price. What is the charge? Eating a meal? Yeah, you used to sell bigger straws, you know, for the crushers. Big right. hit they were. Yeah, Cause you ever tried drinking a crusher through a normal straw, mate? Miserable. It's like trying to suck a tennis ball through a- Were you ever, uh, did you participate in double down season? I tried it. Yeah. I tried it once. No, 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 not tried it. Did you, did you enter the season? <laughs> did you, did you compete in double down season? No. Okay. What do you mean? Because there, there are two distinct times in my life where I, I remember the KFC like season began and one was when two dollar tuesday started and in grade nine or so every tuesday everyone in high school oh my god are you serious would just line the fuck up and that was it kfc became the spot you want to talk about stereotypes and you want to you want to talk about garbage ass food that's made like in high, like extra rushed conditions you know um and then double down season when it came around everyone i knew was making it out to like the few that were left because a lot of KFCs are gone from here. Nick's V. I'm not doing it again. I. I've just made it. We've made it. We've all agreed. It's the Aston. <laughs> He's eating it. Yeah, no, no, He's not. eating the piece of paper. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this, I'm, not, no, I'm not doing no, any more awards. No, 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 I'm not no, doing no, any more. You can't come in and change it. Look, I'm sorry, just... <laughs> now look. Oh, that's my kind of dumb Pack shit. Pack it in, because the nation... Yep, that's the, that's the bit. <laughs> the man has a bit. No, no. I conveniently ended up with one point less than you. No. <laughs> You've eaten it. Yes, I have. <laughs> 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 oh, <my God. laughs> Is it? <laughs>
my god, it's a recurring <laughs> thing. I mean, ever since I saw a guy it's on- It's so thick! It is! It's so thick! I have to work with those two. I saw a dude on Guinness Book of World Records eat a bicycle. So That's anything- the same guy that ate a Cessna. Yeah. So anything less than that is like, okay, yeah, okay. Human beings can eat fucking yeah. vehicles. Michel Lolito, I think. Oh, wow, okay. Monsieur there you Manche go. Two or something? Sure, sure. I don't know. I have to- It was insane. Thing. It was completely insane. So I'm like, ever since I've seen that, I'm just like, yeah, the human body can fuck it. You could anything. Uh, yeah, you can eat whatever the fuck. Yep. All right. Michel Lolito, Monsieur Mange Tout. He's Monsieur, Monsieur Mange Tout. Monsieur Mange Tout. Nice. <laughs> Mr. Eat Everything. Well, that's his bit. He had a plane. Fucking Top Gear. Yeah. Oh, c'est fragile. Trop de cuve. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> so he just called his cat an asshole. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, fragile. Oh, c'est fragile. Trop de cuve. Asshole. Oh no, my putain, il a écrasé. Oh no, oh, no. <laughs> he squashed it. <laughs> oh fuck, God damn it, he squashed it. Yeah. <sighs> Fresh air, freedom, and darkness. Perfect. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. How shall we celebrate? I know a couple of poor, defenseless museums. But then again, I also know a couple of hotels. Tonight's not over yet. There's more work to be done. Of course there is. You do know how to kill the mood. <laughs> do you ever take the night off? Do you ever take the suit off? Not on nights like this, Selena. It's what I do. Fine. I guess I'll hit an art gallery or two That's while so the creepy. big bad bat's distracted. And You're why is Batman so kicked up? Why? It's what you do. It's his IK. <laughs> you can make you can make the bone structure do anything with a 3D model, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. So that the like some of the some of the the funniest versions of that are from Metal Gear Solid Five, where they just replace Quiet the girl with uh, either Big Boss or any of the other characters, and you see the same thing where it's just like ad caked up, the ass is just like sticking out, every gesture is just chesty, playing in the water as like soft music plays. They even and at some point they even replaced it with Kojima himself. <laughs> wow, you know? and it's just like yeah. There you go, you know. Untoward grips. The merchant in RE4R. Well Easier crowbar. Eleven point five inch, compensated with an iron bonded bolt carrier, Trigicon AccuPoint with one six magnification, custom bolt carrier release and charging handle, textured grips. Should your hands get wet, an Italian classic. Dessert. Dessert. The finest cutlery. All freshly Good stirred. bit. Nice. John Wick. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go, th I, I haven't watched three. I watched one and two. But, uh. I so. haven't watched two. It's good. You know what it is. Yeah. You, you know exactly what I'm you're exactly, getting. I've never spoken about John Wick here. No. Right? No. They're, it's, it's, you know exactly what you're getting. It's, yeah. It says what it's, it, it, it says on the tin is what you get yeah. inside the tin. Like John Wick 1 came out. I didn't see it in theaters. People told me it was great. And then it came on TV. I didn't watch it. Mm -hmm. And then I tried watching it and I fell asleep. Uh... I rewatched it and I was like, yeah, that was a fun movie, but it's just boom, boom, pow, pow, doing mm -hmm. stuff. And people it, told me, it's like, no, 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 but it's Keanu Reeves doing pow, pow stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I love Keanu Reeves, but the the whole thing, it's not quite my so the de Well, so the deal the deal is basically just like, what's, what's fun is if you're a tactical asshole, right, you get to watch someone doing that in martial arts level smoothness. As opposed to, like, Equilibrium, for example, mm. is like gun kata wacky bullshit, and it's 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 fun, but it's goofy 
with the levels of what they're doing. Yeah. And everything he's doing is like, if you're a, an operator, if you're super on point, that's how you can move. And that's how you can yeah. be, you know, so it's a, it's a, like a, again, tactical asshole, wet dream to see, you know, type mm -hmm. of thing. And, and I'm like, yeah, fair enough. I don't know that, um, I, I can think of a ton of movies where action movies back in the day, like all the old Stallone and Schwarzenegger superhero, super like soldier movies where like they bothered to do that part of it. Super like tactical. Yeah. You know, you just, you get the gun, you say a one liner and then you go, you know, <laughs> and then you, and then that's it. And then you get paid. Exactly. So like with the fact that he's doing it and then he's training in real life to do it and then you do it and it's all the, the wipeouts are super harsh are like, oh, 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 damn, yeah. that dude got it. And he CQCs everybody. So, you know, it's fun. Okay. It's fun. Right. Do you think it would be worth going through the rest of the movies? I really liked the two that I saw. Okay. I just haven't gotten around to three and four, so I and I. From what I'm hearing, like one and four, from what is going through the chat right now, one and four are the best. I can't imagine. Again, you, it's such a simple concept. I can't imagine them being awful, but I don't know because it's such a like. Does he do the thing? Does he do the thing for he a very will. Does he do the thing for a very simple reason while barely talking? All right. Yeah. That's all I'm here for, okay. <laughs> you know? It's very very simple. And like, oh, the world is nuts. Oh, that's fine. He, but he's doing the thing, right? How sick is that reload? Oh, it's really sick. It's okay. Really nice. Cool. Yeah. Nigeria is a country in South America. Oh, genius. yeah. Alex. Oh, hey, why don't you friend me? Cuz I'm playing that same game you are. Don't want to brag, but I'm pretty good. I don't think there's going to be anything like that. But you still have to watch out because... Oh! There are wolves in these mountains. Oh! <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Nothing? Ah, tough crowd. <laughs> Nicely done. The first is the first issue has him getting all kinds of dumb shit wrong and yeah. saying things wrong and getting capitals wrong. Luke is very stupid, <laughs> like straight up. Like you read it and you go, "Wait, what?" And then like Mel corrects him, like, "No, no, what? What the fuck are you?" Yeah. Nora, thanks for the ten gifts. This kills for you. <laughs> How is your timing so good? Happy I'll birthday. Off, this kills for you. This kills for you. This kills for you. Watch this. It's about to be the happy birthday quick scope. I hit him. I hit him. I hit him. Want an AK? Want an AK? Oh, Want an AK? <laughs> <laughs> what, what <is> <laughs> I don't need your handouts. Watch this shit. Okay. I'm watching. Okay. Behop watch off the top, balance board, 360, ice cream cone off the top, headshot. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a headshot. Let's go. And to top it off, the 360 sweet. ending winning game. I like that he's trying. Where'd he go? Right there, right there. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna kill this guy with the op. Like, I'm about to out snipe him. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm watching. We're following. <laughs> Good. I see one. He's lower tunnels. I'm going straight for him. All right, let's go. He's okay. nothing. I'm gonna smoke. Hello. Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Get him! <gasps> Did you get him? Ah. Okay. Cool. Before, can we just with y'all? Before you start, I have no problem with VTubers. I just want, if the content gets me, it gets me. I can't pretend. Would you, like, if the thing occurring, if the event, if there was no VTuber, if it was just people talking and there was no picture in the corner, I would feel the same way about what, what I saw. It has nothing to do with whether there's a little Corona Chan in the corner or not. It, it's, it, it could just be voices. If it's, if it's a funny, I laugh. So chill with your bullshit before we start. All right, because if I have to learn anything, is that you have to oh, let's go. the noise. Oh, let's Everything go. Oh, let's go. That matter is what happened between the lines. Do the work. Listen to the coach. <laughs> because at the end of the day, it's not about the money, the nice hotel, the private jets. Remember that and you'll be fine, okay? Bro, did you try? Oh, no. 
right. He's right. We got too much talent, and we worked too hard. Oh, we they had no this. time. Get this train right back on track, real quick, like. That's right. We all have that attitude. Oh my the God. train will be rolling all the time. Let's do it. Oh, they just said read this off the phone, and they hit record real yep. quick. Oh no! <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh, that's rough, man. Don't even bother. About what? That a young buck like you could actually. Do the right thing and avoid getting his sorry butt team out the game. Oh. To chill. Sounds like a wise fella to win. Why boy, even try? On deck. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this sounds like? It sounds like they're like, the can you read this? And then he Trash read it and he was like, is that okay? The and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's good. Like there's no like no second take like, like we don't have no time for, no they don't have time for that like, shit like he read it to himself like all right no, 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 no. okay I'm ready to do it no we got it already guys you don't be you don't get this good at ball by learning how to be a voice actor <laughs> like just leave him alone you got skills to be a great player but the proof will come between the line tonight time will tell if you can help or not ah oh. <laughs> the players on the other hand are going to reserve judgment. How's that? You got all the skill to make a contribution, but <laughs> the proof will come between the lines. Tonight, Tom will tell you. It's the pause. No, no, here's what it is, Reggie. Here's why it doesn't matter. Because you can say on the box. Yo, what's going on tonight? Starring over the everybody. You give me the ball. We, right? What are you talking about? Talking about making sure I get my touches, yo. You get to ball, you get to advertise the game as starring all the people so that, that you fucking got to act in it, including the actual NBA. And then anyone who's just like, get out my face with that, man. Yeah, that's Shaq. I do with the rock for the good of this team, and I don't need nobody second guessing me. Sure. You ain't my coach, punk. That's not. That's not Shaq. The fuck are we doing? Shaq doesn't sound like the others. Why is that? Oh my! Someone We've seen a lot of Shaq. Leader, We've sir. seen him uh, at the we desk talking. We know exactly what it's like. In the building tonight. Yeah. One boy was running threes down on these fools. Bam, bam, bam. All one right. after another. Give me the answer. <sighs> All right. Boom. Ready for your line? Another one. Now. That was sweet to see. Oh no! Wait, wait, hold you on. You keep shooting like that. It's gonna make a huge difference for us. <laughs> Horrible, dude. I like, like, like. I think, I think, I, I figured it out midway. Like I said, it doesn't matter. The actual product is irrelevant. We get to put out NBA 2K15, the year that was actually horrendous, and if I'm not mistaken, it got canceled or the year after. I forget which year. Damn. The whole game, the game was so bad that they fucking. There's a whole controversy of them just pulling it because it was buggy and awful. But that lets you put the names in the credits. And if you're trying to sell it to people who are just like, I'm a fan of the NBA. I love these. I don't, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Like the quality doesn't matter. It's just like, oh, they got all them in it. Yeah. And the season mode is all I care about. And da 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 da, -da. I'm getting it. Well, does it, does it irrelevant. Yeah. Quality irrelevant. Names are there. Mm -hmm. Team. Sports. Yeah. Get team. Good. Go. <laughs> By Hyper. I want to got to you. I mean, because I'm like, I saw it was 19 seconds, and I know the Metroid Prime intro is nice and long, and I'm like, we are 15, 16 <laughs> seconds in. Where is this going? <laughs> I had no idea where it was going, and the fact that it took that long, like up to here, up to like right here, <laughs> right? This laid in for a 20 second video, and I'm still like, What's, What's the bit? <laughs> yeah. This is long, but, very, long cool. but very cool. This is a 10 minute. Oh, Team Blue, this is this is bold. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Long but very cool. Oh, spare me Alex Henderson. 
And I'll tell you the story of the mad pirate king who was destined for glory. Through fire and fury, the king sadly failed. It wow. seems his ambitions weren't quite up to. Okay, holy shit at the quality immediately. Holy shit. I'd like to propose a toast to this very momentous occasion. As we're all gathered here today in memoriam of our once great leader. I thought it was your birthday. <sighs> it was. But Glob, why are we celebrating a decade-long abscess? I said in memoriam of, not in celebration of. And that's absence, you boneheaded halfwit. So, what do you suppose ever happened to him? Roaches. They be hard to kill. He probably tucked his feelers under whatever rock was big enough to survive. This is fucking incredible. Well, it's all a bit of hearsay. But I hear he took one too many cognitive calls to the old scaly noggin. I heard he got picked to the bone by a bunch of bloody sharks. <laughs> Bro said electric barbecue. Hashtag slow cooked. Uh, I heard that a higher power determined that he and by proxy us were unfit to continue coexisting with our comrades. I didn't know that I wanted a Disney Donkey Kong animated thing. <laughs> All right, we're in. Yeah. So he's finally back. Performing for you. If you know your place, you can join him too. Put your claws together for a villain most cruel. Because this time, he's here. a hungry heart are you famished without your king it seems you lot forgot the brand of cruelty that i bring oh my god I we're doing the disney villain song subjects i know it's been a while lest you fancy your death by my jaws or my breath don't smile at this crocodile <laughs> In individuals, insanity is rare. But in oh, yo, hit us with the be prepared. Let's go. It is the rule. There once was a trending dynasty. The man was lush and we ruled the sea. We lived our lives so peacefully as a harmonious crew. A quiet place. No monkey business. His conquest and vengeance cost this. Our dental was better too. No, I can barely chew. Yes, well, our paradise didn't last too long Cause our rock was rocked in our kingdom wrong If this leads up to a, 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 a lyrical version of Gangplank Galleon I'm a shit I'm a pop the fuck off If that's where this is going I know I've made this hell these failures run Even the, the little fucking bit with the, the hyenas talking to each other No king, no king, la 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 now I have returned with light and glory as your majesty And your disgraceful prattle while I was off secluded with a mutiny Ha! I'd have you executed! Now I know what you're all thinking and I know you must be down But I'm here to save the day and here to turn the ship around We're going to pick up the slap if he make a crack if he rack if he Gonna turn these monkeys into puppet to banana jackeries! K. Rule is becoming a rap god. And your loyalty is sealed. Pledge for the 
fight will show a trembling might with me your sail and keel crossing the delaware now to the scale to fly the wind is in our sails fight to the nail invoke the strife that it entails he'll try and fail that kong has run his final trail we shall not fail <laughs> holy shit wow holy shit <laughs> that like that might be the best like fan animation thing wow like a wolf in space is like fucking Unbelievable. Any big scaly villains you feel deserve a special shout out? Bowser? Are you sure? Isn't there a portly clawed fellow who's got it out for you? Creed? Not a chance. It's uh great to have you back, Your Highness. The Kremlin crew's been in a bit of disarray without you. Uh, it came again. How many times have we been over this? There's no Mr. Keith Crud rule residing within these walls, soldier. I don't even know who that is. Why we keep getting this junk man? Clump, my dearly dauntless clump. Remind me, if I ever were to kill myself, I could scale to the heights of your blind devotion and leap down towards your IQ! You know, it's a very handsome name. <laughs> well, I'll just be, I'll be, well, welcome home, sir. <laughs> Damn. On a slightly less sensitive note, is there anyone in particular you'd really like to see join the roster? Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Nope, no one comes to mind. I mean, who else? Who else? That was a fucking bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then wow. the, what if we joined the Smash? <laughs> That's, this is one of the best I've ever seen. This is incredible. That's fucking incredible. Holy shit, man. Unbelievable. That is just cinematic quality. There is not even a little bit of a, oh, but it's it's not, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not a studio. Okay. Like, there's always that little bit of like, oh, it's, it's, this is so good for a small team, but there's that little asterisk that you put, you know? And I remember like when I saw like, yeah, like a Fox in space and stuff, I was like, oh, this is just fucking doing it. This is right up there. This is like, there's no asterisk. This is just cinematic quality. And the fact that it's focused is, okay, one, I love Lion King and I love Be Prepared, right? So I'm already the target audience for the villain song. I, I love that song specifically in that movie is like my jam. 
So that's there. And then like um the fact that it's focused on yeah, like K Rule and the and the all the different uh, um all the different villains instead of like even on Donkey Kong for that matter is also an interesting angle to it because like there is a bunch of the cast that we know like all the Kongs Mm -hmm. but like we've also because we know them so well you know you've seen them a bunch and you've seen a lot of just jokes and stuff and you know you'd you'd expect to see like Candy and Cranky and Funky and you know and all the bits but like yeah the act but all the different like uh um all the different villains throughout it you don't expect it you don't see as much but like those are the right characters to put on them based on their designs you know that's fucking incredible i'm seeing there that they got like og voice actors oh yeah play this so it was actually the voice actor for the for k rule okay the 3d animation awesome dk show okay yeah i mean the effort level absolutely is worth that that you go th- pull out all the stops if you're gonna work that hard on it you might as well reach out to whoever you can professionally. Um, but I do, yeah, it's not just the premise of it, but like it's, again, it's the perspective too as well, like going further into the that that roster. That's great. That's super good. Now, Bobby, it took a lot Goobus, of time Goobus. for me to come to terms with this furry th- business you're involved in, but if I must make a suggestion of this lifestyle, you should try making your little identity a tiger. It is a strong animal with many benefits and strengths. The tiger is mighty among the animal kingdom for- Actually, Dad, I want to be a gopher. You're gonna be a gosh dang gopher over a tiger? Whoa! They're cute. No self-respecting Whoa. son of mine is gonna- yeah. Identify as a weak little gopher. Gophers are actually nature's greatest killers. They put you on a false sense of security, but then they go up your bum and rip out your chest cavity like an alien's. That movie was based on multiple presidential assassinations that were listed as heart attacks. Bunch of hooey. Dale, don't indulge him. That's a load of crap. I mean, even if that part's not true, <laughs> hey, you gotta admit gophers have a cute little face. I, I mean, I like them myself. Bill, your opinion matters even less. How about your mom? But you know, you know, tigers are going extinct, man. You gotta, you gotta understand. Like, the tigers aren't doing so good; they don't breed with each other, they don't hang out. Like, so the gophers are everywhere, man. You're going to the golf course, man. You, you, they're everywhere; they're all over the place. But, but man, the, the, the tiger's gonna be gone long before the gopher. The gopher's gonna survive a long, long time. Oh, well, if that is the rule of democracy, I shall respect it. On second thought, I now hate democracy. <laughs> I mean, like that's. That's that's great. That's a great, hilarious thing. It, 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 that could just be real, though. You know it's coming back, right? Yeah. I'm so like, barring the could... last two seconds, Yeah, that literally could just, like, it's almost like, what's the parody? Yeah. <laughs> you know? That could be one of the modern challenges that Hank will have to face once the show comes the back. The only thing even slightly, like, again, besides that, the, the ending bit, is like, oh, the concept of furries being introduced into the show. But... That's just the show. Like yep. you just you just did it. That's a million percent accurate. <laughs> oh, okay, Hunter. Hey, Pop was the equivalent of coming home oh, and your dog would speak, but he's like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just make up flavors. It can't be like sadness. It has to be something. That's purple oh. butter pop grape. It's purple pop. Uh, yeah, purple pop. Okay, okay, it, doesn't say, it doesn't have. It doesn't have the courage to be bad. Because. <laughs> Right now, cream soda doesn't have enough losing matchups for me to put it at C or D. Whoa! Oh. Take a smell. The smell. That smell is it weird. Like That's the diabetes. That's what it kicked no, in. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 Diabetes. This was the first fago I've ever tried. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But that's what it is, though. Every time it's you're about to drink an orange soda, you might as well just grab a grape. It smells like basketball. The next flavor. <laughs> Twist. Yeah, it's basketball. Let's go. Ohana means family. Yeah, Ohana means family. Is that an incorrect nod to the family? Probably. Uh, yeah. She is a mystery. This is a mysterious. She's back. She's mysterious. I don't know. Mystery We're wrapped in the I middle. I like how you're chewing the fago. <laughs> I, I, I just... And then, above it all. Above water. it all. Water. 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 Pretty broken. I I just I they would, should nerf water actually. Yeah, it is. I, but like I I mean literally does everything top is tier. You know, I I I would never I just, I would never choose to go towards the Fago. 
on there's no the time of, has to come to you there's no time of day where i would choose to go to it it just it that it never occurs there's never a moment where it's like, yep, it's Fago o'clock. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. You know, as, as I'm watching this and I'm getting, like, the flavor flashbacks with each of, each of those cans, uh, I just, yeah. Oh, yeah, those. Oh. Hunter, I don't know, man. But if I need your body, I'll stop motion. Dick. Why do you come? I'm going to say it. That's another Pudus moment for me. Sorry. Part two has fighting game references, though. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I guess I've always used violence as a way of getting attention. That's awesome. That's great. That's super yes. good. Yes, me too. <laughs> I'm me. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. What's his persona? Jimbo has faced his other self. He obtained the facade used to overcome his hardship. Seizure robot. Oh. Seizure robot. Seizure robots, of course. Okay, okay. <laughs> Wow. I, I didn't edit. I was like, it's like, hold on. I should recognize that, shouldn't I? It's the seizure robot. Good shit, low From HP. all the best seasons. Great. I'll let you Value win. select. I wasn't even trying. And if I was, well, it wasn't that hard. It's just a stupid freaking game. I don't even care that you won. It's a Scrub Lord's Prayer. <laughs> it's just a Scrub Lord's Prayer. Now get out of my room because I'm dad's favorite mom doesn't even I like you and I wasn't even trying to <laughs> like, so get back. What's left of my pride and I feel the darkness inside that words can't convey So I'll flip the board game and punch your balls What? Perfect! Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'll let you punch me back Damn it! I dig it Fight the algorithm Over. I mean, that outro is fucking wild. <laughs> I think I just had a seizure. <laughs> Speaking of seizure robots, but oh, you select. Person. He's just too goddamn good looking. So attractive that the ladies just leave him alone. It's the only explanation why every Saturday night he cries naked in his lonely home. I don't say that. Real article, I assume. He's just too goddamn good looking. It's got nothing to do with his negative attitude. But actually, it does. Have a good day. Perfect! This was an article I remember reading years ago that was just like, here we did a, a study on, like, attractive people's lives and, like, the effects it has versus it doesn't and stuff. And yeah, it's really tough. You Do you remember that? Oh, I was talking about myself, but... <laughs> Oh, life is suffering. Life is suffering, bro. Damn. Looking like that every day? Bro. Mm. You know? They don't know. Sometimes I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, oh, that's too much. It's crazy. I just go back just go back to bed. <sighs> you know? Again, OP, got a nurse. The oh, Good God, Samaritan, Secret Afternoon. I'm in so much pain. My butthole! Someone help me! Please help my butthole! Oh goodness, mister. What what can I do to help? Tony Lazuto says hello. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, he's carried out 47 hits <laughs> like this. I died in Nick looks up. Let's go.
Oh no! Coco Melon. I'm lost. I only know this kind of thing because it's for kids. Yeah. And it's just they sing songs and like freaking... It's a, this is a real kid Baby show? Baby Shark and just songs for your kids. This is, this is a real kid show? These characters are from a real kid show? I think they're always like happy. Like, yeah, I've seen it on TV at my friend's place. Okay, I, I have no idea what this is. There's no escaping from the cold dead eyes. This was my home. But now it's haunted by the Coco Melly. I just can't go. Songs that sound like they were written by AI. Daddy jumping. Yes, ha uh, ha. Uh, oh, this yes, is the iPad generation. Yes. Wow! Oh my god, no! I see. So it's exactly like that. Yes, yes, wow and shit. So you'd only catch this by watching it on what? YouTube Kids? Okay. Yeah, so you sit your kid and the kid is like one or two year old and you let them absorb the, the visual drugs. Uh huh. Yeah, I think I, I think I need a kid before I get it. <laughs> and you have no idea how many baby shark versions there are. Yeah. Where have you caught this? Um, our friend at, has a child. At a parent's house? So I go to bed and the baby wakes up at 5 a.m. Okay. And it's 8 a.m. And they put stuff on the TV. Okay, okay. At a friend's house who has a kid? Yeah, yeah. okay. Dude, so many baby shark remixes. Like, they take the sharks mm -hmm. and then they take, like, known songs like oh when the states mm -hmm. go marching in mm -hmm. and then they go the oh baby go shark there. oh baby shark no 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 and yeah i mean baby shark's one of those things where i don't even know what the original thing was i think i just know it because i saw it being sung by a crowd at like a hockey game damn holy shit how did you catch that that can't be real is it not real? It might not be real. I'm doubting. Like the, it's it's too okay. First of all, ugh. like the setup is weird. Yeah. Okay. So I know Reddit slash nothing is real. Right? Is like when everyone says staged for all the things, but the camera's setup is too weird. Mm -hmm. The setting is too weird, and, and then it tracks. The, look how the cat moves. Look how it moves. Look how blurry. And then look how the camera knows exactly what to do. Like, why do you stop there? No, uh, this isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. This is real. You know what? Time. <laughs> <laughs>